So well, let's take a look now at a new workflow that we can have in News using uh, Media Central, Cloud UX, and Adobe Premiere. So here I have got um, a running order, I've got a story, and I have a sequence that is uh, associated with uh, this particular uh, story. And this is in my production system. So this is my production asset management system. But if you look here on the left-hand side in Media Central Cloud UX, I now see this area, and this is the Adobe part of the Nexus. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to navigate into the projects area. And here you can see I've created a folder for demo projects. And here I've created my own folder. Now what I'm going to do just now is I am actually going to go in and I'm going to create a new project from a template. So if I select that here, you can now see I can select a template. So I'll select the news one. And we're going to call this one Cypress story, and I can create this project. Now, if you look in the project structure here, you see this project template already has different folders, it could have bins, it could have footage inside it, already set. So let me go ahead here, and I'm gonna create that project. So I've now created a project that a user in Adobe Premiere can come in and now use. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna switch across to Premiere and show you how I can access this project and also this video that I've just created. So now I'm gonna switch across to Premiere, which I have on my other machine. So now I'm in Premiere and you'll see inside Premiere, I have the Media Central Cloud UX panel. Now this shows me, you see here I have my production system. I also have my asset management system here, but I can also see the Adobe part of the Nexus. So what I'm going to do now, of course, is I'm going to go into my projects area. There is that demo folder and there's my CW projects. And what I'm going to do now is my Cypress story. I simply right click on it and I select to open the project in Premiere. And what this is going to do, of course, in Premiere is it's now going to open the project that was created. Now, this is the template project that we mentioned before. So as you can see down here, it has all of the different bins. These can contain subfolders, of course, and they can also contain footage, for example. So I'm going to go into my working on sequence here because this is what I now want to work on. Now, you see inside of Premiere, I also have the ability to search, but I'm just going to browse. So here I go into my projects area. And then inside users, I have my CW folder. And inside this, I have my Cypress new um, sequence. And I'm going to right click on the sequence and I'm going to select to import to Premiere. And we'll do native. And what this is now going to do is it's now going to import into Premiere my sequence and also my rushes. So you can see here, this clip is 12 seconds long. That's my sequence. And here are the, the associated rushes with it. Now, if I double click, that's going to load the sequence into the timeline, which is what you can see here. And if I just zoom into the timeline a little bit, then you can see here, as well as the shots, I also have got the mixes that were added. So if I play the sequence back, there's the dissolves that I also added in Media Central Cloud UX. Now I can, of course, if I double click here to load up the rushes, here are the rushes that have come in from uh, the production system as well. So I can go here, I can mark in and out, and now I can drag and drop into the timeline and I can add the shot directly in here. So now I'm you know, editing this um, sequence directly inside Premiere. So I've taken this sequence across from Media Central Cloud UX. I can edit it uh, directly here in Premiere. And now, of course, I can continue to work on it. And then the other thing that we've also added is this. So if I go to the Media Central Cloud UX window from here, I could select to send this sequence to playback. So we'll select this. This then pops up the send to playback dialog box. The video ID that I added inside Media Central Cloud UX is already there. And then I could send this to playback. Now it's worth mentioning as well as doing send to playback, I could of course send this back to the production system at this point as a flat file. And then of course we could use that and publish it directly from Media Central Publisher. Or alternatively, I could export from Premiere and import that file into Media Central Publisher to publish to social media as well. So those are just some of the new news workflows that we're enabling with Media Central Cloud UX and Adobe Premiere.